Today, I'm going to show you how to squeeze a seven or eight digit frequency into the six digit display of the Baofeng UV5R or similar radios. As an added bonus, I will also show you how to enter a frequency with less than six digits into the Bufwang UV5R, something that based on questions on my previous videos has eluded many viewers. You don't usually find that kind of added value on most YouTube videos, but I like to go that extra mile for you, my favorite viewer. What I'm about to reveal works on all Bufwang UV5R radios, it also works on other similar radios, such as the UV82 or the BFF8HP radio. If you have a similar radio that I didn't mention specifically, and you want to know if these steps will work on your particular radio, do not post a question asking if it will work on your radio, because I probably don't have the type of radio that you have. Just try it and see for yourself. But first, as promised, to enter a five-digit frequency instead of a six-digit frequency, which the Bufwang UV5R wants you to enter, such as 146.52. Did you notice that I just got right into sharing the knowledge with you? And did you notice that at no point did I waste your very valuable time begging for you to subscribe or begging for you to hit the bell or with a fancy stupid intro with music and graphics like so many other YouTubers do? That's because I respect you as a viewer, and a human being, unlike so many of those other YouTubers who apparently think you're stupid. So as you'll notice, the Bufwang UV5R has a six digit frequency. Entering a frequency with only five digits or entering a frequency with seven or eight digits can be confusing. So to enter a five digit frequency, such as 146.52, all you need to do is enter a zero at the end. 146.52 and 146.520 are exactly the same, just like we learned when we went over decimals in the third grade. It's so simple, even a sad ham can do it. But what if you wanna enter a seven or eight digit frequency? Now what? If you've tried it before, you will know that the radio won't let you enter a seven or eight digit frequency, for example. It just goes in and blanks out what you put in when you enter that last digit or two digits, and it can be very, very confusing. In such an eventuality, it may be that you don't even need to enter those last two digits. You can try just entering the six digits and see if it works. I have actually never needed to enter all seven or eight digits on any frequency I've ever listened to. Entering just the six worked just fine. But if you find that you must enter all seven or eight digits, the newer UV5Rs will usually try to predict or guess the last two digits. For example, if I enter 146222, you will see there, it put in a tiny little five. I think that's what it is, I can't really see it. The older UV5Rs won't do this, but the newer ones do it's gonna to try to guess using its artificial intelligence algorithm is, and it will change that depending on what you enter. So if I enter 146246, you'll see that it guessed by putting a 25 at the end. You can then use the up and down arrow keys, these two keys right here, to fine tune those last few digits, should you actually need them. But what if those numbers go up or down too much? Or what if you're using an older Bufwang UV5R that doesn't have the new artificial intelligence built in? That's when the step menu option comes in. The step menu option, which is menu option number one. We can get there by hitting the menu button. This then brings us to menu option zero. I can then hit the up arrow key. Now I am now at menu option one, which is the step function. Now, if you actually read the instructions for the Bufwang UV5R or go to the Bufwang website, it says regarding the step option, selecting the right step is important on this device as the frequency display is only six digits and frequencies with seven digits need to be rounded first, then decremented or incremented using the arrow keys until the desired frequency is reached. 
The recommended step setting is 2.5 kJHz. And of course, to most people, that means nothing at all. Because depending on what that step number is set at, it may not go to the right number when you click the up or down arrow button. So you need to round up or down your frequency when you enter it, and then let the Boofwang guess those last few digits or adjust the step menu function so that you can get to the right frequency, the last two digits of the frequency that you need. It's very easy to adjust the step function. We hit menu. We get into menu option number one, which is step. We then tap the menu button again. Now that the arrow cursor, that little thingy there is in the lower line, we can adjust that lower line by pressing the up and down arrow buttons. So I'll set mine at the recommended value of 2.5 K gigahertz, and then press the menu button to save that setting. Now, I can get back to my VFO screen. All of this works only on the VFO direct entry frequency mode, which you can get to by tapping the VFO button. That stands for variable frequency something something slash MR is memory. That switches between memory and frequency mode. You can usually tell that you're in the frequency mode because you'll see a frequency displayed instead of a channel name. This is channel mode. This is frequency mode. So I can now use the up and down arrow key to change that frequency in the amount of the step incrementation that I entered. It may take some practice and messing around with, and as I mentioned, you may not even need that last seventh or eighth digit. But that, my friend, is how you squeeze a seven or eight digit frequency into the six digit frequency display of the Boofwang UV5R or similar radio. If you have questions about what just transpired before your very eyes, leave a comment below. Dickhead comments. Comments answering questions that nobody asked. 10 paragraph long comments explaining radio theory. Comments summarizing the whole video that everybody just watched. Off topic comments or questions or any other comments that I just do not like will be deleted with extreme prejudice. Or if a comment demonstrates extreme superior stupidity, it will be pinned to the top for everyone to marvel at. Thank you.